Hello guys, my name is Nick Ander. I'm a professional blockchain developer and in this guide I'll show you how to write smart contracts on the Tone blockchain. But first, let's discuss the languages you can use within the Tone ecosystem. There are three main languages. The first one is FIFT. FIFT is a low-level stake-based language developed specifically for interacting with the Tone blockchain. It is primarily used for creating and managing Tone smart contracts and handling external messages. If you are familiar with assembly languages or have experience with stake-based execution, FIFT might resonate with you. The second one is FUNC. FUNC is a high-level language compared to FIFT and it is used extensively for writing the logic of smart contracts on Tone. Designed to be simpler and more approachable, it resembles C in its syntax and structure. This makes it a great choice for those already familiar with traditional programming concepts. The third one is TACT. TACT is a new addition to the Tone development ecosystem. It provides a more intuitive and more user-friendly approach to smart contracts development. This Features designed to enhance safety and efficiency, TACT is suitable for developers looking for balance between low-level control and higher-level programming ease. Today, we will write some smart contracts using the TACT language and deploy them on the Tone blockchain. Let's get started! Ok, let's open VS Code. We need to install two plugins. The first one is for Tact language support and the second one is for FUNC language support. We are not going to write any code in FUNC language directly, but maybe we will look into the, the FUNC files generated by our scripts. Now we can create our project for today's lesson. We will be using Blueprint Framework. In order to create new project in Blueprint Framework, we need to type npm create tone latest. Our project name is going to be counter because we will be creating a simple counter. The first smart contract is going to be counter2 and select an empty tucked project. Our project is generated. Let's check the structure and see some important files. We have the following folders. Contracts. It has the source code in tact for all smart contracts and the imports. Wrappers contains files with interface classes for contracts that we develop. Inside the test folder we can create scripts for testing. Scripts for deploying and interacting with our smart contracts should be located in Scripts folder. The last important folder, called Build, contains compilation artifacts created here after running a build command. Ok, let's create and deploy our first smart contract written intact. Open folder Contracts, select counter.tact file. Right now we have a simple contract that has declaration and initialization function. We declare a smart contract named counter which is deployable. It means it includes certain properties and methods for deployment on the blockchain. We will be creating a simple counter smart contract, so we need to declare a few more variables. The first one is id. It will be storing a unique identification number of our code. Because in Tone blockchain, smart contract address is generated by provided code. We need to be sure that our code is unique in order to create a new entity in the blockchain. The second variable is counter. It will be used to keep track of cumulative value. Inside the init constructor, we provide ID of our smart contract and initialize the counter variable with zero value. Then we create two get functions, 
one for returning the current value of counters variable and the second for returning the value of contracts ID. In the last step we need to create the actual function that increases the counter value. In the Tone blockchain all interactions occur through messages. So in order to increase the counter we need to create the receiver of the message for increasing the counter. But first we need to define a message structure that we are awaiting from user. It's going to be called add and has two fields. The first one is query ID, is an identifier for the query stored as 64-bit unsigned integer. And the second one is amount, a numerical value that user wants to add to the counter. So now we have the message structure and can create function for handling incoming add messages. It should be defined as a receiver and should just increase the counter by the amount specified by user. Ok, our smart contract is ready so we can build it. Building the smart contract means compiling the smart contract code into the bytecode making it ready for deployment. Let's clear the console and change the directory according to the project location. To build the contract we need to type npx blueprint build. Done! The next step is to deploy the compiled contract to a blockchain. This involves sending a special transaction to the blockchain with the contract's bytecode, effectively creating a new instance of the contract on the blockchain. Let's open the deploy counter code inside the scripts folder. As you can see it shows an error during the initialization. Because right now we need to provide the value of contract ID. We can generate just a random number and convert it to the expected type of big int. Now we can use it inside the initialization. The rest of the code is good as it is, except the absence of successful lock in the end. So what do we do here in the deployment script? First we generate a random integer and assign it to the initialization function. Then we send a deployment transaction. with the sender's address, the amount of tone coins we want to send along with the contract deployment and the message of deploy type and zero query ID. Then we wait for deployment and lock the ID of successfully deployed contract. Now we can run this script. Let's type npx blueprint run. Select testnet chain, tonekeeper as our wallet where we want to sign the transaction and scan QR code with our phone. Connect the wallet, wait for transaction request. Confirm it. Great, now we have address and ID of our deployed contract. Let's copy the address. We can see the address in tone scan. As you can see our contract is active. We have deployed the contract of counter to the tone testnet chain. Let's interact with it by increasing the value by 1. Let's create a new script called increment counter. Define an asynchronous function named run. It takes a network provider as an argument for handling network interactions. Open a connection to an existing counter smart contract. For this we are using the smart contract address. Retrieve and lock counter value before interaction. 
sent a transaction to the smart contract with the following arguments. Sender address, the value of ton coins provided with the transaction, and the message with the type of add, query ID 0, and the amount by which we want to increment the counter. Then we use a loop to wait for our counter to be changed. Every 2 seconds we are checking the current value of counter. And lock the success message in the end. Let's run the script. npx blueprint run. We need to select the script, because now we have more than one file in scripts folder. Select increment counter. Testnet chain, Tonekeeper wallet. Now we don't need to scan QR, because our wallet already connected. Confirm transaction inside the wallet. Wait for counter value to be changed on chain. Great, the counter value is changed. Right now it equals to 1. Awesome! Today we have created our first smart contract using the TACT language, deployed it on Ton testnet chain and interacted with it. That's it for today. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe and click the bell icon to stay updated with more content like this.